you know, this is something I've talked about before, but it's been a long time. And uh, I noticed it pretty much everywhere I've been. There's people around you, bloodline, in-laws, outlaws, neighbors, uh, church members, just uh, employees, you know, lateral employees. I've noticed it my whole life, and um, it's, it's frustrating for them that I know this because, you know, they're under some kind of delusion, but what happens is people have a moral code, right? It's not based on the Bible. It's just based on their society or their own, their bloodline or their own belief system about themselves, but it's usually about treating them right, you know. <clears throat> they don't have a moral code for themselves. They have a moral code for everybody else. They follow some kind of moral code, they think, and they want you to follow some moral code that's not even codified or written down. It's just something in their mind, you know. Something in their psyche, you know. Something inside them. But if you talk to them long enough, they don't believe in Jesus. They don't believe in the Bible. They have their own moral code, not based on the Bible, and they expect you to follow it when they don't even believe the Bible or Jesus or anything. You know? And what's sad is they try to put you under that obligation or that uh, expectation that they can't even keep. They don't even realize they are the Pharisee. Right? And they're everywhere. They're everywhere. I don't care where you go, they're there. They expect you to follow some kind of moral code that they set up. You gotta follow I'll give you one example. They want you to support their birthdays or their holidays or their sporting events or their uh, something, their music. These are ridiculous things, but they really have a strong uh, urge about it. They're Christmas trees. If you don't put up a Christmas tree, waste money on a Christmas tree, put up a Christmas tree, hang out some lights during Christmas, during the holidays. If you don't, even vacation. If you don't go on vacation like they go on vacation, I mean, these are, these are things that are just like, they expect you to follow their societal norm, which is not even a norm, it's actually an Illuminati, Jesuit, Freemason, slave, Q mindset, you know. But they, they have these moral codes that they expect you to follow, which are not even moral codes based on the Bible. And it's like, you just look at them and you kind of laugh inside and you say, you really expect me to do what you want me to do? <laughs> bizarre people. I mean, it's really bizarre. I don't know how to explain it to you except that if you can see it, you can see it. If you can't, you might be one of them. I hate to tell you. You expect somebody to Yeah, so I, I saw I saw this my whole life where they want you to celebrate their birthday, right? And if you don't celebrate their birthday, uh, they throw a fit. When you tell them, you say, "I don't do holidays and birthdays." You know, if you don't if you don't give them a gift on a holiday, they they go insane. Well, who created the Gentile holidays? Holidays are mockery of the holy days. I mean, it's obvious that this that this uh, that this uh, holiday system makes people depressed and makes people have a fake spirituality, a fake 
think about it. after Christmas and uh, the New Year, they go back to the norm. They're just as mean as they were before the before the holidays. It's, it's just the crazy stuff. Even the churches. You better not miss a day of church, or you're not right with God. But but the, but I thought you said that I'm right with God by faith alone and Jesus alone. What are the works of God to believe on His Son? I thought you said if I believe on Jesus, I've done the work. Why are you trying to stress me out like the corporations try to stress me out? You see, if you don't follow their rules, man-made rules, if you don't follow their man-made rules, their moral high ground, you're a bad person. And they don't even know they're doing it. That's the sad part. They're so caught up in it. They've got some kind of... Uh, It's even, so this has been going on uh, for a long time before the word even came out uh, about it's not social justice, but it's uh, every time I think of that word, I forget it. Let me put this on pause and look that word up because it's, it's so appropriate, it's not even fun. Well, I couldn't find it, but I thought of it. Virtue signaling, that's, a, that's what they're doing. They're trying to put you under their rules because they're virtue signaling you that you've got to follow their virtue. If you've ever been married to one, you know, I'm going to I'm going to recycle. We're going to we're going to recycle everything. We got to be good enough. We got to recycle. What are you doing? We got this person behind me tailgating. Ridiculous. So these virtue signalers, virtue, virtuous, look at me, I'm virtuous, do what I'm doing. It's more legalism. If you don't do what I'm doing, you're vir you're not virtuous. Do you understand? So they so if you've been married to one, they say, I'm gonna recycle. I'm gonna be virtuous, I'm gonna recycle. You need to recycle with me. And then within one day, she doesn't recycle anymore. It was a virtue signal. I'm going to boycott Kmart because they do this, this, this. Next day, can we go to Kmart? I said, can we, we need this. Where are we going to go? Kmart's got them. Virtue signaling. It wasn't real. It wasn't sacrificial. Trying to, trying to project a reality onto the, to the other person. She tried to get me to to stand up for something that she could say in other words what i'm saying is they even do this this is bizarre this is how sick they are okay they want you to do the recycling they want you to boycott kmart so they can tell their friends that we are boycotting we're recycling but they don't do it in other words they are projecting a fake reality onto their other people because you're doing the work that they tried to project on you. And when you don't do it, it don't make them look good. Do you hear what I'm saying? These people are sick. They're sick. And if you've ever been married to one, it takes a long time to figure out, figure out what they're doing. But once you figure it out and you see through it, they know you see through it. They got to, they got to destroy you. They got to try to destroy you. Do you understand? These people are sick. They project onto you what they want them to, to be to their friends or their family, the virtuous fake reality that they're trying to project, but they want you to do it for them so they can say they're doing it. They can say where we're doing it, our house. They, they don't have any identity. They get their identity out of you, and it's not even a real identity. It's fake identity. So not only is it virtue signaling, it's trying to get you to be under their legalistic uh, moral code, fake reality moral code. So when you do it, then they can take your work to build themselves up because they want to identify with you to their friends or family or co-workers or cohorts or whatever. So say, look at me, I'm a virtuous person because deep down, 
they have no virtue in their heart because they've never been born again. It's all about works instead of faith. Do you understand?